now that I've got this piece uh, fitting to the uh, the wood and the tailgate as far as the uh, arc goes, now I'm going to start working in these pieces because they're tied to uh, this center piece. So uh, to get these in the place, of, and you know these were made at another company on a buck, and then to bring them over here and to fit them onto here, they're going to be a little bit different. There's just no way around that. But what I need to do is work it back in, and like I said before, it's just kind of like working vinyl. You just work this stuff out. If you if you don't, you can get trapped. If you go the, if you work it, if you work the metal out and around. Uh, you can make it fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is get my squareness in here, and that's going to dictate the height of this, the height of this panel, and locate this corner of this panel. Then I'm going to see where this radius comes out and the side arc is for the wood, and uh, and locate right that right there. Then I'm just going to cut the shove to fit the rest of it to get it in place. Uh, so. It's going to take a little bit of cutting and working, but it'll be able to make this piece uh, make piece right. And if I don't do that, then I'll be chasing that problem the whole time. Like on this side right here, this panel's a little wider at the bottom. So uh, once I get this corner located, I'll go ahead and locate the top. And then I'll come in here and probably slice that and move that over. And then I'm good to go right here. Do the same over here. I'm good to go right there. And then I can just start going around, you know, get this line in place, that line in place. And then just button it up and go all the way around. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start right here on the squaring in part and then go out. Cut the tailgate back off because uh, I went ahead and did all my measurements that I need to do and I marked this landing in here and I've cut and fit this landing back to the location of the tailgate uh, with uh, adjustability in it. And then when I've set that, that tells me the distance that I've got to have from the face of this to my seal landing to the uh, outer surface of the metal gate in relationship to the wood. So I've got all those numbers factored in. Um, so I'm about ready to wrap this piece. I've done located the height on it. I've located the depth on it. So I'm rolling along. But this post, once I got all this uncovered, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's a, there's a big hole right here from something. There's a big hole up here from something. The inside of it's a little bit rough. And, uh, and I want to make this solid before I move on. So that's what I've done now. I've treated it, pickled it, and brushed it. Uh, now I'm going to go in here and, and repair this, weld this in, weld all this in, get all this work done inside here, then treat all the inside of here, then start working my way back out, tacking it back together. So it'll be really solid, but I just want to show you what i got to do inside here before I move on. You can kind of see, uh, there's a big hole, I'll connect that, connect that, treat all the surface of all that. Anywhere else that's loose, I'll go ahead and weld, seal, and, uh, and then put me in a way to drain at the bottom of it, the end result. But, uh, I'll make all that inside there real good. There was something that poked through it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fix all that because I have to go in there and fix all that behind there. Then make this look like the rest of it. Uh, that way the finished product's going to look right. I've rebuilt this post right here. It was uh, had a hole through it here, a hole rust out here, twisted a little bit, bent right here. And then I finished up uh, any kind of welding or, or anything I need to do inside here. And then cleaned all that up, sealed it, put a, uh, a zinc based uh, interior coating in there and then just shot a little flat black over it to kind of cover all that up. And uh, I've been fitting this as well. But now I've got to put the, the tailgate and all that back on. So I took those measurements on the tailgate and I did all that dressing before I pulled, I mean, after I pulled it off and then did all this work. So now when I go back on, I can see if all that work, see how all this is. I'll get this lined up with the tailgate and tack it in in this corner. Uh, see where the bottom is over here and then uh, it may tack it in there, it depends on what I got to do down here at the bottom for the uh, filler panel. But then I'll just start working it back in. So uh, let me get the tailgate back on here and uh, see how this fits and see if I can move that post in. I want to show you how nice this is coming, this is coming along. So when I set that side of your tailgate, I used a, a door seal material on it and then set that bottom, set that top and it's, it's a perfect fit all the way down so that door seal is going to fit nice. Then I did this one the same way against the seal landing with the door seal material and set it right there. Now I'll be able to come in here and uh, set the corner of the edge of this down through here and match the uh, outer surface. And when this is all done, it's going to be super nice. But that's set in there just beautifully. The fitment we did on this wood and uh, setting all that body around this wood is really paying off. You know, I just kind of put this in the center of. All the metal work I did by pulling, you know, I pulled the sides out and moved the door pockets and got all that. So right now where I'm at is uh, I locked this down the front. It's just perfectly fit from where we did that before. And then run this straight on out and secure it all down and fit it here again. 
and now I'll be able to tune this side of the panel. So I got that side of the panel tuned all the way down to the door seal in between the uh, gate and the body, and that's all going to be right on the money. And I'm going to come over here and do the same. Now, they oversize this wood, so it's digging in a little right here. Um, uh, I took a measure on the wood, and I've got like two and a quarter, and it goes up to about two and a half. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to bring this wood in so that it's about the same distance all the way down as well. And then once I get it fit, that's going to help me move this a little bit. And then in between the two, I'll be able to get this right on the money. And then I'll be able to just wrap all the way around this wood. This is the part of where I just uh, study, study, study. I just don't want to make a wrong move. Like I say, it's like playing chess. So I've really got to plan out what I'm going to do. And it's looking like I might have to cut this piece up quite a bit. I've tried everything in the world to not have to cut it up. Um, I found an area that, that actually fits. So I tacked it here and tacked it here and got my wood and stuff fit down this plane. And it did pretty good till right here. Then when it gets right here, this piece comes this away. So it doesn't fit my, my pan, makes my pan go down. So I was saying I'll just split that, bring that over, put a filler in it, and work that. But then as I, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it doesn't follow the side of the, the wood. Both sides of that wood uh, curve down. Uh, this is, is more straight than the wood. So I'm going to have to shrink the, that lip and move that in. It's not going to move in with this bottom piece on there. So it's looking like I'm going to have to cut this off here. I'll probably have to cut that, move that, uh, put it in a shrinker here, shrink that lip to get that lip to, uh, to get this to have an arc in it. And hopefully I can do that. Might have to English wheel it a little bit. Uh, once this bottom piece is off, I'll have to come in here and uh, somehow manipulate it and turn it and probably cut this lip loose to wrap around the wood. Um, this piece just does not want to fit, fit this car. Uh, I hope and pray the other side ain't so bad because it would have been so nice just tack this in and rolled on. But instead, I had pilled around trying to get it to fit uh, half a day here. And uh, I'm just going to have to go in here and just start chopping it up because the corner of this... Then this landing here and that landing there, it has to be in a certain location to follow the wood because the wood starts gradually going out right there and it, this is already out past it. So it's extremely frustrating but it, it's what I have to work with. So uh, I'm going to start cutting and chopping this thing up and uh, I'll just uh, cut this piece off and make it fit and cut this piece off and make it fit and, and then hopefully go forward. I feel like this corner and that corner is going to be the hardest two pieces to make because it's got to go around this corner, but I just wish that it fit just a little bit better, but it is what it is. I got this piece here, and I cut the bottom off of it because this was kind of in the wrong spot for what I was needing, and uh, I'll work on it later. So this piece here, I was able to put this in my shrinker, and I shrink this lip, which turned that just a little bit, which made it match the back of the wood. I made sure the wood fit the woody, the car here, uh, before I call this mud out. So the outline of the wood was really nice, real nice contour. So now I've went back and fit this back to the wood. Uh, and I've left me a little meat on the wood to cut back to this when I get done. And, uh, and then I've shrunk all down the center of here. And I've got this piece of it fitting pretty good. So, Fix go back here and tack weld here, tack weld here, get it located with this uh, tailgate again, and then I'll bring the front around to match the wood, and then I'll be good from here to there. And then I'll just have to, I'll just have to keep going around, work my way around. But I sure hated to cut that piece up, but it was just uh, just an, off enough to be uh, to be on and even cutting apart. So, all right, Bruce. I know I've said a million times how tied together all this is, and it's kind of like playing chess. But every move I make uh, has consequences. So now I've got that, the, the back tacked in place. Everything just kind of tacked up. Uh, I've got this number, that number, this number, that number, just tacking them. And I've, got to, and I've got to go forward with it now to wrap it around. But to know what this number is, being this was all destroyed and I have nothing left because it was wrecked and rusted out. Uh, and I have to have this new metal in to know where to locate this to do the cab corner. Uh, there's a lot involved right there. I've got to start working around the wood. Now, I know your wood is in pretty good shape as far as being straight and true. I've laid both pieces together. I've measured it. I've put straight edges on it, and they're, they're pretty dang nice. But I'm sure there is a little bit of movement that's happened in them uh, over time. Uh, wood wicks in moisture in the air, and it swells and, uh, as the air dries out, and that makes it move around a little bit. Um, keeping that in mind, 
and keeping in mind that I have no references of anything because it was all rusted out, I'm using the two together to wrap this metal back around the wood. So now what I did a long time ago in fitting this wood on this door post and that door pocket and all that is really coming into play now because I know this piece fits this post and it's square with this post and this is good. So I'm gonna go straight out. I've got this leveled straight out and I've been working this back, uh, grinding and fitting this back to this piece. But uh, there in lies a little bit of a, a little bit of a planning and headache because as this piece moves back, it moves this back, which is okay. I don't mind that because I have the wood on the door that I can adjust this gap with that wood on the doors. So uh, that's not an issue. But as, as it moves back here, I have, to, I have to have room in here. So I'm gonna have to allow for a gap right here because it needs a uniform gap all the way around to look right. So as I, I've got to get this gap located and done and know what the gap I'm gonna use all the way around the, the wood on the vehicle right here and right now because this has got to go back a little just a little bit more because of this opening so this opening in the wheelhouse in this wood as i move the wood back it's going to get wider here or narrower here so this is dictating where that wood's going to be which is going to dictate how much i cut this out which is going to dictate how i'm going to set all this and it is just so tied together now in a perfect world and i had a good body and it was all together then i could just fit this wood in this pocket and go on with it, but I, I just don't have any of that. All right, Bruce, one more thing about setting all this wood up. Uh, there's so many factors involved in what I'm doing. You know, I talked about doing the end of that and uh, making my gap at the end of that wood, but also I had to come in here and measure all your wood widths. Uh, your back post down through there is about two and a half. Your front post is about two and five eighths. Uh, this, this post right here is about two and a half. And this one right here was about two and three quarter. When I saw and found that one, that's going to help me a lot because I'll be able to take that little bit quarter inch off all the way down through here, which is going to give me clearance. This is the only place I was tied at. And that's going to save me from moving that and uh, moving the front and moving that whole piece because I really like that piece right where it is. So I'm glad I found that and saw that. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut that out, uh, the shape of that. Then when I go back and put my metal back in, I'll be putting my metal back in around this piece and uh, all your wood is gonna be uniform. Uh, if I'd have just went with what I had, this one would be wider, this one would be narrower. Uh, not, a, not a big deal, but where I'm at and how I'm doing this, we might as well go ahead and make it all accurate and, and nice. And then I'll just come right back with my metal and follow that right around, and this side will be, this side will be sweet. Quick update, you can kinda see now how that metal work's coming out, and uh, really, really is looking good. I'm able to use this wood, I've kinda got your wood trued up, uh, changed the angle in here, and took a little off the back of that, and got it in a good spot, and then I just started following around it with the metal. Uh, the metal I'm having to cut and whittle it down a little bit, do a little shrinking and stretching, and blending. Uh, but so far so good. That is really looking nice. This was the original piece and it was uh, warped all the way down the center where it was wrecked. I've got that dollied out, fixing to work these two pieces together. So uh, I'll show you how this is looking apart. Um, these panels, I'm cutting them to where they an exact fit. And I'll go around and tack weld all that in. I've got it all pickle treated inside and out. And so far so good.